to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you what we are using for science for the 2019-2020 school year for my son who was in the sixth grade. We are using the Young Explorer series of Apologia, Exploring Creation with Anatomy and Physiology. Yay! Super excited about this curriculum. Let's start off by showing you the table of contents. This curriculum will basically go over all the major body systems. And this is a great curriculum to use as a precursor or prerequisite to biology, in my opinion. So how am I doing that? We're going to do um, this curriculum in the sixth grade. We're going to finish it off in the seventh grade and then do some life science in the seventh grade as a um, precursor to taking a biology course in the eighth grade. But let's go ahead and look at this apology of curriculum here. In lesson one, they'll be focusing on the introduction of anatomy and physiology. And then we're going to go into lesson two, the skeletal system. Lesson three, the muscular system. And then four, digestive and renal system. And then health and nutrition. Um, respiratory system, then we're going to do life in the blood, cardiovascular system, the nervous system, which is two lessons, nine and ten. And then we have the senses and so on and so forth. I really like Apologia curriculum because it dives deep into the particular topic. Let me show you. Let's look at lesson one. The It is easy to read. I think this can be used even by an elementary um, school student with the help potentially of a teacher parent. Since my son is in the sixth grade, he is going to actually read this on his own. And he's also going to do the section, the sections called um, try this on his own. So here's lesson one. The words that are in bold, we will use those as our vocabulary words for um, science. He will continue to read. He will do the try this. We will either do this together. He will do this on his own or he will do this on his own and he can also choose to record what he is doing or he can document it in writing. Either way, up to him. Continue reading. Another try this. The try this are like many science experiments. All of them aren't science experiments, but some of them can be hands-on and interactive, okay? All the words that are in bold will not be his science vocabulary words. However, I will pick and choose which words will be. What we're also going to use with um, Apologia, we're going to use the Apologia journaling book, okay? The Young Explorer series journaling book. So as he is doing whatever he is doing within the actual textbook itself here, we are going to use this as our notebook. Normally for notebooking, we use a spiral notebook, but since Apologia has its own, we're going to go ahead and use the Apologia version. Okay. And it also gives you a lesson plan of how to break out every single lesson. So you can use this as your lesson plan um, for the year, or you can or you can create your own lesson plan. I'm creating my own because we are combining um, two curriculums together for our science. Okay. So this is lesson one, and in the book, they'll tell them when to go to the journal, notebooking journal, to complete a various assignment, okay? So I'm just going to flip through the notebook for you, so you can kind of see some of the activities. And for my son... This notebook will actually be an end product or deliverable for his science, along with all the projects. 
which will be either recorded or they will be, you know, um, documented some type of way, the projects and experiments and things of that nature. But all of this needs to be turned in at the end of the year. And this journal notebook here receives a certain percentage of his grade for the sixth grade. So for science, you know, for our grading rubric, which I will share in a different video, it tells him the test and or quizzes serve as, you know, as an example, this may not be accurate. I would say 40% of the class and then this journal notebook to include the other documentation pieces of his experiments and projects combined um, will serve as 60% of the grade, just as an example. And I do put more emphasis on the projects and the um, notebook for his grade in science and for his tests and quizzes, um, they will be verbal. We don't really do multiple choice, fill in the blank test and quizzes or assignments within our homeschool. Everything is normally through narration, it's verbal. Um, I'm in front of him asking him a question. He's answering the question. Even if the test comes from the book, even if the test that the book provides is multiple choice or fill in the blank, I am reading it to him and he has to give me the answer and I'm not giving him, you know, a pool of answers to choose from. He has to give me the answer based on his knowledge and we'll talk through it. Or what I may have him do is record um, his answers on his phone and then he'll submit it to me that way that way um, I can hear his responses rather than um, putting them in writing so it can be done in so many different ways and then in the back of the book here there are some projects that you would have to cut out and print and things of that nature. So we are super excited about this and he is also super excited about using this. And here are all the answers to the items within the notebook. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back into the book. So after they read the chapter and they do the journaling um, as necessary, it's a do you remember? So the, so the information in this book will be documented in his science notebook. His science notebook is a basic five-star grid ruled notebook. So he'll write his answers within this notebook. Okay. So the, do you remember? We'll go in here. Notebooking activities. That will be used personal projects that will be done however he so chooses based on the directions that they provide all this he can do on his own what I figure we're gonna do do you remember again documented here he will do by himself the notebooking activities documented here he will do by himself personal projects we will do together okay and then they give him another project, which we will do together. These projects are the ones that he will record himself actually doing, and then he will um, write out the process of what he's done. It's What we're also doing with science is we're doing art. We're incorporating our science with art. So for example, let's say, I think I saw a cell here. So let's say this as an example. I may ask him to draw a cell or draw the nucleus. So within this book here, he is also going to do just that. He's going to draw the cell or the nucle nucleus, providing labels and coloring. Or he can choose to use watercolors if he so chooses using watercolor paper. But we are also combining art within our science. I may ask him to you know, draw this out and label it and do a replica of this. I may ask him to draw this out and do a replica of it. I may ask him to draw this and to do a replica within his notebook. Again, 
incorporating art within the science. And I want to do that because when he gets into biology, we're absolutely combining art with biology. So this is basically giving um, him an idea of what he will be doing in a, bi in, bi in a biology class when I say science and art is together. And it's just getting his feet wet. So back to the curriculum. All the chapters are just the same, okay? You have your chapter. You have vocabulary words. I will tell him certain things to draw and label. He has his try this. Sometimes it's an experiment. Sometimes it's just an interactive activity. At the end of the chapter, he will have... A, do you remember which will he will which he will put in his notebook he will have some notebooking activities the personal project which he's building upon in the beginning of this book they start off with the personal project which is a picture of your entire body you're sketching it out and you will add layers to it as you go through each chapter so this project here will also be due at the end of the school year and again the experiment and it goes on like that in addition to the apology of science, we're also going to do um, a health and nutrition class using this. Our health and nutrition will take us two years. We will begin it in the sixth grade, finish it in the seventh, and he will get half a credit for high school for health and nutrition. We are using Nutrition 101, Choose Life. This was chosen because it not only goes into health and teaches you um, about the different areas of health and how to be fit and healthy, but it ties to the body systems. It ties to the 12 main body systems and it's covered in six units, which means it coincides beautifully with Apologia. Since we're learning all the 12 body systems in Apologia in great detail, we're also going to learn the nutritional aspects what those body systems are used for in terms of health and nutrition in order for us to bring all that body of knowledge together. Here's the table of contents for that. And the order, of course, may not be the same, but that's okay. So for example, if chapter two in Apologia is the, digest the digestive system, then I will just do the digestive system, which is unit two in this curriculum. So Apologia is our foundation. And based on what we're learning in Apologia, I will select the correct unit within this book here to discuss health and nutrition. My son is super excited about this book here because it has recipes that he gets to try or we get to try together. So for um, our lunch, whatever recipe we're doing for that week, we'll go ahead and try it out and that will serve as our lunch for that day. So let me show you, show you how the chapters work here. So with here, so in here, let's get that, okay, there you go. You have your chapter, it gives you information, it gives you some vocabulary words, it gives you some fun facts, And then it talks about supplements. At the end of the chapter, you have discussion questions, which we will do orally. And then you have some activities, elementary students or middle and high school students. We will do some activities from the elementary and we will choose one or two from secondary. This curriculum they say is a high school curriculum, but you can use this in middle school as well. And that's what we're doing. We're using it in middle school, sixth and seventh grade. We're not going to discuss all the questions or do all the activities, um, but we'll just pick and choose based on our interest. 
and it also gives you some additional resources that you can use. Okay? And then at the end of the chapter, it gives you a recipe, brain power, because we were discussing the brain of that in this chapter. And again, it gives you some more activities that you can do. So this is a jam-packed curriculum, and that's why it's going to take us two years to go through. Okay? And that's why it's taking us a year and a half to do Apologia. Not quite a year and a half, maybe a year and three months, because we are doing it this way. We're doing some from Apologia, and then we're going to dive into this book. So again, here's another example. Easy to read. The child can read this on their own. You can also tie in, I think it's called CK12. It's a website called CK12, if I'm correct. Um, and that is a free website that you can use to integrate within your homeschool. And it also has videos and additional resources for science. So I may, you know, get a video or two or three, or from YouTube as well, or Brain Pop, or whatever other resource we have available in our hands. And again, at the end of the chapter, you have questions, activities. You don't have to do all of them. Pick and choose which one you want to do based on everyone's interest. And then you have a recipe. I forgot to mention for our health this year as well, we're also doing the Boys Body Book where he's going to learn all about puberty and growing up and things of that nature. And he's excited about this book as well. Let me see if it has a table of contents, which it does. I will discuss some topics and my husband will discuss some topics. So this book is going to be used to basically start the conversations of your body, puberty, how it changes. And we're also this year going to dive into the reproductive system and talk about how babies are born and where they come from. Ah! <laughs> He's not excited about that. Let me just show you some pages here. I think this is very well written and my son will read the pages that I assign first and then we will discuss together. And then in some instances where the topic is a bit sensitive, um, my husband will discuss. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense. I hope you found this of value. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment box below. And as always, you be blessed and make it a great, great day. Bye.